or let's try to gather cuts in refugee camp, challenging mode in critical outbreak, and try to get to do two commendations. It's the one not using a med kit for this mission and pistol peat, so just using a pistol. And yeah, I didn't had the right blueprint, so a better blueprint, of course, would be one where you can do two talents you want. I do have just one for the moment. And let's see, no, it's the wrong one. And I crafted just quickly Damascus and rolled determined on it. And let's see how it works if we can get this Agent, pretty quickly. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from Okey them. Okie this start was pretty bad. <laughs> As you probably know, what I tried is to go on a higher platform because then you don't can get contaminated. And yes, usually, usually, but not this time, the sniper jumps down from his platform earlier. But yeah, it doesn't work always the same. So as you see now, now he went down like I had the plan. Because, yeah, of course, I could use a med kit, but as I mentioned before, I tried to get both commendations at the same time. Then just have a look on the rushes on this side. Keep them busy with the fire. Yeah, except the foundation for Dragon's Nest. You can do all of them really easy by yourself. Should be doable. Don't forget to use command as well. The next part and the one after will be almost the most difficult one. At the boss is when the many shotgunners rush you. This can be kind of hard and the part in front of us because the, the shield guys rush you pretty fast and hard. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like and it fits the cleaner ammo. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. So therefore Jesus, we just you don't think they Draconian place solution, this one up here, but highly effective. Make a flame grenade ready. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve make to survive this thing? Try to stop every them with day, the Every day, doctor. Flame. Every day. Good luck, agents. I don't care if I use my super. Because I anyway get it back pretty quickly. But my seekers they have always a while until they get the shield guys. And yes, the speed bar can be really actually pretty hard. As you see the damage you take it's pretty high. But therefore, if you play it in a group with your buddy, then you can two-shot everyone, even with a pistol. So Dragon's Nest with a pistol is not that hard if you have good communication. Because the four horsemen on the top, you can kill all of them with just two headshots. So that makes it pretty fun to play this global event. And as I said, this was one of the hardest parts in my opinion. There's another shield guy rushing. And more of them in the train, so...
Oh shit, that was not intentioned. Do we have tear gas? Yeah. So then release the seekers. into the teeth of it now. And as I said, if you're on high ground, refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're going to try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, I said before, if you now. have the chance to craft Candle a pistol, out. then I would definitely go for um, predatory instead. Or predatory determined or predatory and uh, predatory and what wanna say? Destructive is a really nice setup as well, but just to craft the pistol with the talents you can use. But I was even too lazy to put a magazine into my pistol. But yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> and of course, because of the contamination, you have to play a little bit more careful than usually. But if you expect this, then you should be pretty fine. And as I said before, always try to go on a higher ground. Makes your life pretty easy. why I don't use the sticky on this one here which because that's well of course because Warning. with the turret Chemical you have a little bit better throughout detected. control so this is the main reason Confirmed. It's why B, all I prefer right. to have the with turret that much capacity, on this they one must here. Be planning to burn out the whole damn yard and when they do they're gonna kill every last one in that shanty town. We need that shanty in the safe. So the same here let's go on this scaffolding Sniper out there in the front, so we start from here. Good training for survival with the pistol because I'm really bad as soon as I have the pistol. So they jump down if I saw it right, then let's move ahead. Two fatties, but they usually don't come back uh, up here so we should be safe Yeah, just take your time. 
Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest yes. are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. That's not really kind, my Without friend. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. I got them. Bloody turrets. So that's not really fortunate that I don't have my super yet, but anyway, there is a checkpoint, so we could start again of course not the one i want but the way i want but yeah let's try to do the best already not yet the shot is already spawned at the uh, shield heavies shield guys and They spawn up there and then you get contaminated as well. And as I said, I didn't have my super. Mm. So at least now I got the super back. And then let's do it again. Why he don't get hit by... No.
really just focus on the X guys because they're the most dangerous guys right now at the moment. But I guess for now it's just Mr. Martinez. Let's go, let's get out of here. The G credits, let's quickly have a look it's, if it's something useful. Nope. Extend the magazine, yeah, probably. Let's have a look. Score so agent. If you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Then I would say let's give it a try on Napalm as well. With the same setup, legendary difficulty with the modifier active and see if we can do the pistol peat and That should do it, Agent. Solid work. Yes, good work. The one without now sample as well. team, listen up. Have like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples here. labeled and organized so we can track Napalm, corroborating factors. That's fine. Let's move this discussion to a different Specific channel so we don't bore the agent. Fine. do compete playlist yes it worked for this one here and it worked for this one here without the medkit so great let's go ahead we just brought in another load of legendary critical outbreak and let's go and yeah as i said in the video before i uploaded of before this one it was a really really interesting not story, but experience to do the whole story mission again on Xbox for leveling up to 0 to 30. But yeah, I figured out it's really not that easy to start right now at, with this game because there are so many gear sets. There are classified version, normal version, and high end, and exotic, and, and, and. And it can be hard if you start just right now to get the right gear. So if you would like to have some tips if you start the game just frequently or just not long ago and you want to have some tips then just write me a message in the comments down below and I can do probably a video for you where I can share my learnings from my previous experience as I was doing the whole story mission again so what I focus on or what you should focus on when you do it again on the gear but just as much so if you start new the first things you want to get uh, of course, if you have the chance, then grind for the global events. Nowhere else the chance is so high, like here, to get the, the pieces you want. Because just imagine, I guess at the moment we have 15 sets. 14 sets, 15, 14 or 15 uh, classified versions. And all 6 pieces. So if you get the 6 pieces outside from a global event, that's... Yeah, not impossible but really really hard so if you have the chance then really farm for global events and otherwise the good things you want to get is either ninja bike and or skull mc gloves 
their most useful items, especially if you start new with the game. With the ninja bike you can do really nice combinations and you not even need the classy version for it. So the standard gear is good enough as well to unlock the, the talents. And the Skull MC Gloves, still the Hexa build is still one of the best ones you can get, especially if you just started with the game. So, first part done, and let's go ahead. Quickly grab the vanity item up here. And then let's kill the healer. And as you saw, it could be kinda hard, but it's really doable, except Dragon's Nest to complete almost all the commendations by yourself, except the one. Oh, that was crap. Except the one where you have to kill some guys that are marked. And the guys are marked, as I said at the beginning, you can two shot everybody. So they are marked when they have such an orange symbol over the head. Then you can finish them off with another shot or your body can finish it off. And therefore, of course, and for the Dragon's Nest combinations, you need a body or somebody else to play with. But except this, you can do pretty much all of them by yourself. So even if you play mainly solo, that's not an issue. As you see now, the orange symbol. And you have to be a little bit more careful for now. <laughs> I don't have predatory. But I would still have my super, so should be fine. There are better alternatives for okay, my super props now. That was not very kind, Mr. Agent. Uh, there are better alternatives for weapon as well. So the best one would be the first wave. Uh, first wave, what's the name? Ah, uh, he didn't take them. No, no, it's the shield guy. I thought it's the agent. Now he would be marked again and if I play would play this with another guy and he has the symbol over his head then he can just one shot him. So what? Another guy? Where is he? That's weird. That's weird that this guy is still alive. And as you see, because of Determined, I already got my super almost back. Just a couple seconds and then I'm safe for the next hit I got. So let's have a look where the healer is. There he is. There he was. Yep, I think so. So the Seekers go already for the Sniper up there. And let's see if they die or not. If they die, I have to care about the Grenadiers. But no, they don't die, so that's good. Can kill this guy down here. And 
now they will die. Oh, she destroyed it. That's not nice. Let's have a look of the grenadiers. You see it always when they plan to shoot a grenade to you. Like now, the red symbol, they just move. But as you see, it's exactly the same strategy as I used or showed in my guide. So if you want to have the explanations of the full run, you can just check out my guide I did for this video. Yes, you're right, just you and me. And now it's just me and me. What? What? Okay. That was not nice. No damage at all. didn't work like intended. Oh, the healer is still alive. Okay. Got you. That's so strange, and two guys took no damage from the Seekers. Yeah. So, first part done without medkits. Especially on this part, I would like to have predatory because they sometimes can sh shoot through this little wall here. Let's wait until the other shots are down there as well. Because after this, I guess the age will spawn. So let's wait for the healer. Kill them and let's go to the safe spot. Then quickly change to my turret just to get a couple stacks and make it a little bit faster and easier on this one.
So I hope this is it for the rest of the NPCs. Let's see now. It takes one at least one seek around more. Then the last wave with the shield guys, and we are at the checkpoint. So be kind, go away. Yes. Thank you, Grenadiers. So I guess about two rounds of Seekers more and then we should be done with this part as well. And I still, I don't know if it's a Grenadier or just a Rifleman, but we just be safe for a moment, for the moment. Two, three, four. And the granny that's almost on full health. Kind of funny. don't know, really don't know why the Seekers don't go for this guy. That's kind of strange to be honest no. with you. But I think we try to go in front. And the worst case, kill him with the sticky. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. probably not the best idea with medkit of course would be easy but I don't want to proc my alt already so then let's go ahead Quickly check if there's something useful. Nope, nope. Oh, let's quickly check the pistol, probably for the next one. Ah, capable, not really. Echo so this mission is un impossible in legendary difficulty to do without contamination, as you see now. So you always get contaminated quickly for this part here, until you reach the top floor. Let's go in the back here, see if we can spot the healer. Yeah, I guess he's right away in the back. Got you! He 
This guy hits the hardest. So try to focus him and one seeker and we should be fine. Do I have some? Yeah. Okie doke, let's go. Agent in the box. So the biggest threat here is the agent you see here. So at the beginning I really recommend focus him first. Try to keep him busy. That was kinda annoying. Disrupted that Okay, that was lucky. That was pretty lucky. Usually, of course, you can just use a medkit to get rid of the disruption. But as I said before, because I will do this without medkits, and the checkpoint would be not too far away, I didn't care too much. What? I didn't hit or why so less damage. So finally. Yeah, and always try really always try to keep the agent busy because if he would shoot uh, sticky to me yeah, then this would be not too good for me at this moment. So throw grenades, whatever you have, just to keep him busy. And he is not able to shoot a stick if you do this. That's now the entering thing. a safe area. Then let's go to the four agents at the end, the four spiders. Widow, Tarantula and Redback. And what's the other guy? Something with W as well. Warning, now leaving the safe area. Let's see how it works. Could be a little Warning. bit difficult. Now we're exiting the safe area. Depends where they stand, how fast I can take down Widow, and so on and so on. So for the first part, let's try to reduce the cooldowns a little bit with soda. Back sticky. Come on, sticky. I need you. So, got the first one. This one I will focus next if I can hit him. I hope I got red back, that would be nice. He's jumping down. He's going up. And on this one definitely don't go down there if you don't have to, because if the shots rush you they hit pretty hard and the contamination will pretty pretty sure kill you. So be careful. So Redback is down as well. That's pretty good so far. from here ok 
Okay, I hit somebody. Sh I guess this is the shotty. So just take your time up here. It goes pretty quick if you go down too early that you die. Just one left. I guess the shot this should be down as well, but because I'm not sure, I just do one or two rounds more of Seekers. Make sure I, I got really every every shot that is creeping around. Yeah. Okay, I don't hit anyone here. Uh, Widow is still alive back there. Got her box. She placed already a new one. I hope I can make her move. Box down us again. Another box. Another down. The only thing what is annoying because she heals always the guys here as well. That's really annoying. Let's hope she moves soon to the bottom floor. Come on. Oh man. Okay, got it. Nice, we just killed a couple and seize the rest. And we are fine. because I don't have the right talents, I don't have an AR, it takes more time to kill them with the pistol, but it works, in the end it works. So I killed one up there, one up there, one up there, and Widow in the back. the last guy. So, then let's grab the loot we need, the G credits, and go out of here. Stamina mod, good one. Nope. Grab this and check this. Nope, nope, nope. And let's go. indicate this area is safe so and we did it let's see if it counts Morning. you are now leaving the safe area yeah if you have some other questions for the current 
uh, for the current or the future global events then just let me know in the comment section down below I try always to answer all your questions and as I said before quickly check if it counted or not outbreak this of course yes specific conditions yes pistol only yes and without med kits yes so pretty nice then i wish you happy grinding see you in the next one thanks for watching and for your like and comment and bye bye happy farming see you guys additional hostiles incoming <laughs>